Alright guys, good morning everybody. Uh, today I'll be working on my baby. I need to go to Walmart grab some paint because we're gonna paint we're gonna paint the fender that I have in the back. Okay, we're gonna do that. Got some water, it's 8 a.m. right now, but it's gonna be getting hotter and stuff like that. And yeah. So I'm trying to replace this fender today. There's some oil leaks, but it's not bad. I checked the oil level was full. All right, so I'm gonna get my GPS ready. Then we're gonna go to Walmart, I'm gonna grab paint, and then I need to find a place where to work on a car and all that, so that's the plan. Uh, yeah, I need to clean the seats a little bit too and all that, but <coughs> they will all get done. Yeah. Ready to work, guys. All right, my oil, got my tools. I guess so. Ready to replace the oil, we got the filter and all that. Actually, I don't need to jack it up, I can just go like this. Um, yeah, and uh, let me get started. one just in case let me take those off put this camera somewhere maybe even it's a little warm Okay. Oh, 
there's my gasket. Let me carefully lift this up now. change it there we go good now I'm gonna change this o-ring right here it's actually a good idea to change these o-rings as well but I don't have them today so it's gonna be fine here, as you can see, you get this big O-ring and also a couple of gaskets. Okay, so don't forget there's that washer I put on the top. And now I just replaced this gasket so I can put it back on. The reason why you want to do the uh, oil filter first is because as soon as you pull out the oil filter, uh, the rest of the oil that was in the oil filter housing is going to flow down to the oil pan. That's why you need to do the oil filter first. Wipe this down. Okay. Good. Open this up. We're gonna drain it on the bottom. I already loosened it up. 13 millimeter. Drain this baby. There we go. That's the drain plug. I can see how my motor mount is so messed up right there. It's crazy. Let me show you. Uh, I need to wipe down my hand first. See it? I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty bad. And I need to do something about my alternator belt and water pump belt. Both of them are actually a little worn out. So I have one belt, but I need another one. So I'll probably do it another day. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna go try to find a new drain plug because I have it somewhere. Right, in the meantime, the oil is still draining. put this cap on for now I'm gonna take off the air filter uh, because I need to get to my motor mount my engine mount
take this off. 10 millimeter. and nut is my new drain plug I'll be putting on as soon as it's done draining now just need to pop these out two three and also I'm removing the air filter housing because I need to replace the mount one of the mounts is no good or maybe two even have to take it out and there's a couple more nuts I have to remove and then I need to remove this guy as well one as you can see it's my bad mounts need to take off I need to remove this as well the air filter is out there's one two three and as you guys remember I was replacing the air filter on this car um, and I cleaned everything out, but right now after those 2,600 miles that I drove, it uh, there's dirt in here again, so I have to clean that up. All right, the air filter housing is removed. As you can see, this is the only mount that's good. These two are gone. This one is gone. So I think I only have one mount for now, so I'm gonna put this one on. Um, yeah, but I need to get to the motor mount, that's why I had to take it out. There's two Allen bolts I'm gonna have to take off. I'm gonna have to support the engine and all that, so. It's basically just dripping now. So I can. Take my new drain plug and put it on. Maybe somebody over tightened this drain plug before, so it doesn't want to go smooth. New drain plug is installed and tightened. Um, now, what I want to do, I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to put oil in it. I'm not going to start it this time because I want to just change quickly the motor mounts, and then after that, we're going to be good to go. We can start it. She loves new oil. You're gonna ask me how often I change oil on this car and on the old school Mercedes in general. Every 3,000 miles. You also have to think about it. It's not really 3,000 miles because it's more. The reason why is because think about sitting in traffic, engine idling. That's still engine hours. The engine is working. So you're getting more than 3,000 if you're changing at 3,000 miles. So, all right, I'm gonna put one more bottle. 
and then I'm gonna leave it like this until I change the engine mounts and then after that we're gonna start it and check everything all right so that's done yeah as you can see I'm working in uh, not abandoned parking lot but there used to be, there used to be a shop here before but they closed out so let's go here now I'm gonna jack up the this tire I'm gonna start on this engine mount also I need to be a little careful I need to plug this up okay like that that's good enough Yeah, it's that engine mount. The hardest part is gonna be getting to the other bolt. This one isn't bad, but all right, it's all jacked up. Now this is what I'm using. These engine mounts right here. Okay, Lem Forder brand. <clears throat> so it's a pretty good brand. And, uh, I'm gonna start taking it off. Well, this side didn't go as planned. One of the bol bolts uh, rounded out. As you know, they're Allen bolts. It was really rusted on top of the head, but these ones, everything is good. They're coming out. So. so. One and two. As you can see, they're both Allen bolts, six millimeter. So what I'm gonna do when I put a new one on, when I put a new mount on, I'm gonna lubricate these really good and also coat this head part because they just, as you can see, this one likes to have like surface rust. But I cleaned it up on this side, as you can see both of them so I could fit my tool in there anyways there's one of them it's like really bad the rubber it's all collapsed let's see made in Germany yeah, I don't know what brand that is but I saw on that side it's actually a genuine Mercedes brand so I'm gonna clean this area up really good now, coat it, and then um, put a new mount on. Comparison for you guys. Alright, so yeah, I'm putting this one on. what you're supposed to do on these cars. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't do that. So, let's get over there. There's the mount. Okay. All right. This side mount is replaced, as you can see, all bolted up. It's just I need to roll, lower the engine, but first I'm trying to figure this thing out. As you can see, I removed this first bolt. Where is it? There's my finger. First bolt, but then the second one is like stripped. So I'm gonna probably try to use the Torx. Hopefully it helps out. And yes, I did clean the threads before, but what happens with these bolts is if you look at the head, it's like really rusty and then it becomes deformed. Um, that's why when you put these on you have to either uh, lubricate them put some grease on them just protect them so otherwise it's gonna be no fun all right guys quick progress I had to take off this shock as you can see it's in a bad condition too but the reason why I had to take it off is I cannot remove that bolt and it's bothering me 
So what I did is I jacked up the engine. As you can see, the shock is gone. It's not there anymore. Uh, so I'm just using my hand to move the mount back and forth now. To try to loosen it up. All right, guys, you ready? The bolt is loose after I moved the mount back and forth. The bolt is actually giving up. Yeah. So I'm gonna take it out and then show you. All right, guys, a quick tip. Uh, if you're taking the motor mounts off, uh, just make sure your socket, your Allen head is all the way in. That's why you have to clean it up and all that stuff. In my case, there, it was the bolt was just like so, so rusty on the inside where you put the Allen bolt in, uh, the Allen key. That's why it was just uh, like, it would just like round off. And I couldn't even use my uh, Torx for that or anything like that. That's why I went on alternative ways. So if you guys have the same issue, you can uh, use this method. Uh, but once that everything works out, and the only thing is, uh, it's a really bad access to that bolt. There's my extension right here. So every once in a while, you have to literally grab like an extension and just hammer that uh, Allen um, key down just so it sits all the way in. Otherwise, you're gonna be fighting it. But yeah, this side gave me like some trouble. That side was okay. I already showed you this side is replaced i just have to lower the engine down but i'm gonna do it after i'm done with this side so just hammer this out yeah she's coming loose all right just need two hands other bolt came out fine this one is just no good it was a little rusty inside as far as this motor mount it's actually mercedes-benz and oh yeah it's actually i don't know if this is yeah it's getting like cracked and stuff it's a good thing i'm changing them both there's the new ones I mean, these are the old ones. This one was so collapsed. So I think at some point somebody just replaced only this motor mount. They left this one alone, I guess, but this one is a lot worse. All right, so that's the thing. And yeah, I had to use the combination of screwdriver bits and like Torx and everything to take it out. But the trick is, at least if you can get one bolt out the other one you should be able to turn the whole mount and as soon as like you turn the whole mount that bolt is gonna turn with the mount so imagine this bolt is right here now so what I was doing is I didn't have a choice anymore I kind of put like I grabbed the um, right there as you can see brass punch and I just started hitting against here and then it started moving and then I could move it by hand like this and then I went back and forth like this and eventually this bolt loosened itself up and it didn't uh, move with the mount together it moved separately so that's when I started using all these tools again because I knew this bolt was loose already uh, and I was able to uh, remove it so yeah but hopefully you don't have to deal with that stuff because it's really annoying um, but anyways I'm gonna clean that area up again like on the other side put lubricant in there and put new mount in hopefully you guys I don't run out of uh, my battery but I just finished my motor mounts my engine mounts right there everything re reconnected uh, now something on that side 
can see motor mount. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna replace one of these. I have a new one, and then I'm gonna reinstall my air cleaner. So there's 10 millimeter on the bottom. Take it off. All right, and then. Ooh. She's a little crusty. Let's see. Uh, need a helper. My best, best helper. Right there. All right. Yes. So now I have this new one. It's a original Mercedes Benz. So hopefully that lasts a lot longer. All right, guys. This is reinstalled. Now I'm gonna take my air cleaner box, clean it. And the paper towels. This is pretty clean actually. I don't have to worry about this guy. Alright. Just this one I had some junk in there, so I'll clean it up and reinstall it. Alright guys, that's all. Your installed air filter as you can see it's not wiggling around anymore even though one of them is still broken uh the mount um yeah so i'm gonna put this tube back on okay it's on and this one it's all cleaned up all clean reinstall that all right guys so she's all done right here everything is reinstalled air filter all the bolts are tight clamps everything is good um that that shock for the motor mount is reconnected the motor mounts are all good and all that stuff so she's all pretty much good to go i guess everything is done today motor mounts all that stuff so i need to start her see how she's running Sure, nothing is leaking. Yeah, she's good. Let her run a little. Then I'm gonna shut off the engine. I'm gonna check the. Uh, I'm gonna check the level of the oil. All that.
Had to top off a little more. Now she's good. So don't forget your tools. Make sure all your tools are in place. Let's double check. Yeah, she's all good. Done for today. Big job was done today. So many things. Yeah, I'm glad. California, I'm using your parking lot, California, to fix my Benz's Mercedes Benz, but I hope you're not mad at me.